Nesting selectors in CSS is now possible. This was previously exclusive to preprocessors like SAS. Let's explore how to use it effectively in CSS. CSS nesting allows you to nest one style rule inside another. This means you no longer need to repeat parent selectors over and over again. As in SAS, CSS nesting also includes a special character and called the parent selector. While these two examples produce the same output, the ampersand symbol is necessary in certain cases, such as with pseudo classes. Because without the ampersand, the browser adds a space between the tag and pseudo class, which is not what we want. The ampersand ensures the styles are applied correctly. Likewise, if you want to use compound selectors in a nested block to target an element with multiple classes, you must use the ampersand symbol here as well. Again, without the ampersand, the browser would add a space, breaking the compound selector. In addition, CSS nesting also works great with combinators, without requiring the ampersand symbol. CSS nesting also supports appending parent selectors to reverse context. In this example, this approach targets the H2 heading only when inside a featured card. This is super handy when you want to change styles based on a parent element's class. One disadvantage of CSS nesting compared to SAS nesting is string concatenation. SAS supports selector concatenation using the ampersand symbol, while native CSS does not, limiting certain naming conventions like BEM. When it comes to the compatibility of CSS nesting across browsers, we see that nearly 90% of browsers support it, but I think it seems like we need a little more time before using CSS nesting in our projects. So what do you think about CSS nesting? Would you give it a try instead of SAS? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.